What's up guys, Anthony here, Hawkeye Traders. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, all right? I know we got some crypto traders here uh, following my channel, following Hawkeye's channel on our, our mailing lists. Um, and I don't wanna discount the fact that, listen, at the end of the day, what we teach at Hawkeye is price action and volume. How do you pair those two things together? The tools that we supply for you, of course, make that process a little bit easier, but you must, be able to understand those two components, right? We need to understand volume drives price action and how they work together. And in doing that, it gives us the opportunity to partake in significant moves. So today we're looking at a one, a single day or a daily chart. And the reason we're gonna do this, we're gonna look at the bigger picture here, because if you are a shorter term trader, uh, you should be looking at higher time frames. You know what I, I short term trade or day trade. Uh, I look at a daily chart. I look at a one hour chart. No, actually, I go from a daily to a four hour to a one hour to a 15 minute chart down to a three minute chart. So there's an invasive process of understanding what the market has done, what the market is doing, and what the market is likely then to do next. So let's talk about Bitcoin here again. We're looking at a daily chart here. This is the BTC USD. Uh, ticker and obviously you know look this is a very volatile asset you can see big periods of consolidation massive runs higher aggressive swings lower so on and so forth i mean just taking a a very broad stroke look here um you know what's the market doing right i mean the market's yeah if, if i just kind of draw a very sloppy line here what's the market doing the market's going higher right i mean pretty obvious that we're making higher lows we're making of course higher highs as well. And you could just see that just, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not getting very super technical here, but I mean, just notice what, what are we doing, right? We're, we're in that big microphone effect going higher here. So let's talk about short term, right? Like what, where can we have, where could we have entered this market? Like very, very near term. So what do we look for? Look for a couple things. The price action comes down to, are we in a trending market or are we in a consolidating market? And if you notice these green dots here on the, on the chart, this is a Hawkeye component. This is the trends and stop component. And the reason for the dots, not just necessarily the color of the direction that the market's trending in, but notice where the dot is placed on the chart relative to the price itself. So when the market's in a period of consolidation, where does the dot end up, right? It kind of ends up in the middle of the price action. But when the market is trending, notice that the price is above the dots. Pretty, pretty simplistic um, concept to grasp, but if the dots are really close or the dots are really sideways, it tells you that, hey, the market's in a period of consolidation or congestion, whatever term you prefer, and then ultimately, what are we looking for? We're looking for a breakout. We're looking for price to prove who's in control. So if I just look here at this very near term price action, I'm going to do some very simplistic price action analysis. That's it. Okay? I'm going to draw a couple lines on the chart. I'm not going to clutter the chart with 30,000 different indicators. All right? I don't, it's not necessary. I'm just simply identifying what? markets in a period of consolidation. The buyers and sellers have not been able to agree on leaving this area, at least on a closing basis. You can see we penetrated it a little bit, penetrated here a little bit, but in all in all, the buyers and sellers are struggling to get out of this range between 37, eight and change and 35, six and change. Now it's a pretty wide range, um, but what are we looking for? We're looking to see who's in control. So. The green dot tells us that the buyers are trending at the moment, okay? The heat map down here on the bottom, also bright green, telling us, hey, listen, we're not looking to short this market, right? We're looking to find the low risk opportunity to buy this market. So we have clear range bound action, right? Not only are we looking for a close outside of the range, we're looking for a close outside of the range with supporting volume, which we have. Now, we don't wanna risk this entire range, that's huge. So we wanna really dial now in deeper to really the price action that offered the exit of 
this range, this consolidation, this congestion, right? So in these, the period of these two days, the buyers and sellers transacted and neither were able to close either above the range or below this little line in the sand, right? That's exactly where we're at. Now, I'm looking again to confirm this breakout. And the way I'm gonna do that is say, hey, have, have I taken, has the market taken a breath? And in this very tight area, have we pushed out of it, closed above this area, held this area below perfectly? And is there buying volume? And in fact, there was. Okay, so we broke out of, we closed outside of consolidation or congestion. We were able to identify our tight price action setup. We know that we ultimately, from this point forward, until we run out of steam, wherever that may be, and you can see it was just a little short of 45,000, um, you know, we're looking for buying opportunities. And one, two, three, four, five days, we went literally straight up. And what did we, what happened here, right? The buyers and sellers transacted at this level and they were no longer able, the buyers were no longer able to overcome the sellers. We had run into what we call exhaustion, climax. We just had this great push. But how did we know this trend was coming to an end? Well, by simply looking at the volume, right? Price was going higher until what happened? The buyers started to step out of the market. The volume started to decrease. That's a sign of one of two things. Either we're going to enter a period of a sideways market, which we did for one, two, three, four, five days. And or we're going to suffer a correction or a new period of consolidation that we'll need to break out of. Now, where's our consolidation here? Right here. It's nice and small, nice and tight. What's happening today to Bitcoin? Crap in the bed, right? So the what, what transpired here is the sellers overtook the buyers. The buyers ran out of interest at this point. And now we're starting to fall back. And we know this because price action tells us and volume supports it. Buying volume supported this five candle push higher neutral volume which you can see down here below right gray 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 right so gray tells us that the the volume has become neutral that there is no bias of one party stronger than the other and we basically just climax this move you can see we just on this candle here inched higher than this high and the sellers step back in and this was not surprising because we saw the volume dry up. I don't want to buy here because I don't have a confirmation. So this is what happens when you have the ability to pair price action with volume, putting those two things together, using the Hawkeye tools will ultimately help you better understand what's happening. Not 30, thousand indicators on your chart. And in fact, I left a MACD on this chart for a reason. And I'm going to tell you why. Price and volume told me to buy Bitcoin right here. MACD doesn't tell you to get long to right here. You've missed out on more than 65% of the move. MACD is a leading uh, is a lagging indicator. Moving averages are lagging indicators. Relative strength is a lagging indicator. Bollinger bands are lagging indicators. Okay. Price action and volume. Those two components paired together. I don't care if you're using candlesticks, a tick chart. If you're using some form of software, it makes no difference to me. What matters is an interpretation of both price action and volume. What those two things are doing will ultimately lead you to qualifying your trades or disqualifying them. I don't want, there's no reason here for me to buy this market at this level. 
The only thing I'm going to do is lose money. I have no supporting volume here, and I'm in a range. I'm stuck. And what happened? Market fell back to below where the MACD crossed over. So the MACD gave you one day of profit. Price action and volume gave you one, two, three, four days of profit. Big difference using something that is leading as opposed to something that is lagging. So below this video, guys, there's some content about the Hawkeye tools, uh, some upcoming events and some videos and things that I encourage you to watch. Uh, take the time, consume the content. Feel free to send me questions. Feel free to send my team at Hawkeye questions. We'll certainly answer them for you, help you better understand price action, help you better understand how volume drives price action. Uh, and these components will take your trading to the next level, guys, because if you don't have a basis knowledge of what is driving the market and how the market's being affected, you're ultimately not going to be able to navigate the market successfully. And I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news. I'm just simply trying to help you avoid all the mistakes that I made over the years. And that's that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you avoid the pain and suffering that I went through so that you can focus on being a productive, successful, advancing in your career trader. So again, consume some of that content. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions regarding the Hawkeye tools. You can feel free to reach out to my team regarding Hawkeye tools as well. They'll be happy to answer any questions or get them directly to me and we'll help you get up and running. Um, Hawkeye tools are available on TradingView, TradeStation, NinjaTrader, uh, and MetaTrader. So really a, a universal indicator that can be applied to many, many uh, different uh, platforms. And it can be applied to uh, any and all time frames that you desire to trade. So if you desire to trade, uh, you know, a tick chart all the way up to a monthly chart, uh, these, these components can be applied. They work for stocks, futures, Forex, cryptocurrencies. Uh, so it's, it's really, you know, the, the field of play is, is, completely and totally up to you. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video, wishing you a blessed day and uh, we'll talk soon.